Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendad. I, of course, am your wonderful editor-in-chief, Abram Beaner. Now, keep in mind, calling me wonderful is certainly subjective, but what isn't subjective, guys, is how absolutely wonderful, objectively wonderful, the Super Mario Maker 2 3.0 update is. And as such, I want to take a minute today and chat with you guys about why it's so great and why it's really revitalizing this game in my eyes and I think in the eyes of a lot of other people too. Now keep in mind, I'm your editor-in-chief, I'm also a college student, and while I'm quarantined at home, that doesn't mean my teachers can't call me into Zoom calls and sick assignments on me, make me watch lectures, you know, do all kinds of interesting and kind of uninteresting things to spend my time. So unfortunately, you know, I've put a couple hours into the Mario Maker 2 update, but not enough to really give a complete opinion. So keep in mind, these are just my first impressions with 3.0. However, I think there's more than enough here to talk about, even based on, you know, just my first two or three hours of playtime with the update. The first thing worth talking about, of course, is the world builder, and it's phenomenal. Just like the rest of Super Mario Maker 2, its UI is simple and elegant and easy to use, unless you build something pretty unique feeling. Of course, this is a little bit more restrictive than building a level itself, but I think there are enough aesthetic options and enough mechanical options here to build world maps that are actually yours and feel really fresh. You know, you can put on bonus houses, put in some aesthetic touches, make the maps and the routes feel your own. It's very, very cool, and I'm excited to futz around with it. I, you know, I made a very basic layout just to test out the features before talking to you guys about it, but I'm excited to really jump into the nuances of it and really figure out who's who and what I can do to make these worlds feel my own, because when I hopped on Twitter today, people are already coming up with really cool layouts in this builder. So I'm excited what I can do. Now, of course, I have a peanut brain. You know, I'm not one of these great Mario Maker 2 creators. I try, I try, but I'm not, you know, I'm not Pangea Panga, right? But who can be? I'm not even DGR. I love DGR. Great content creator. Me, I'm just a humble writer, a humble editor, and a humble Mario Maker 2 fan here to tell you that the new power-ups, the new items, the new course pieces, as you can see demonstrated in the sample levels I built here, both this one where you fight a coupling at the end of this cool cavern I built after you're running across water with the frog power-up, a power-up which used to be very boring but now has all kinds of fun new abilities in Mario Maker 2, where you fight a coupling, you know, there's all kinds of fun new things here to experiment with and really get crazy with. Now, Mario Maker 2, the doors were already blown off the barn in terms of possibilities, right? But this update somehow ups the ante even more. Not just in terms of the world maker, because that, boom, now we're in a different stratosphere. But these individual pieces, they really elevate the game styles and give you so many new and subversive ways to create levels, especially, especially in Super Mario 3D World, which is a style I loved, and I still do love, but it was certainly limited in comparison to the core four styles, which you know, it's a little bit less true now that we have 3.0 because as you see in my sample level here in the background, there are some really cool different masks you can put on and these give you different power-ups. Some come from 3D World itself and some are new inventions just for Super Mario Maker 2. And they all give you a lot of fun new mechanics to play around with and I really think that those wonderful level creators that have been the blood and the bones and the veins and the arteries and the cartilage of Super Mario Maker 2 will come through and give us something really special with these new items and remind us of why Super Mario 3D World is a wonderful game style. And of course, you can't forget about the Super Mario Maker 2's rendition of Super Mario Bros. 2 in the Mario Bros. theme. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get a full Super Mario Bros. 2 USA theme. However, in the Mario Bros. 1 theme, you can use the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. Now, we're getting a little bit cumbersome here, right? That's, that's a lot of words, but listen to this. It's very simple in execution. You pop the mushroom, and all of a sudden, you can walk around, sit on enemies, pick them up, throw them around, do all kinds of interesting things. I haven't even touched that yet. I can't wait to come up with the cool level creations designed specifically around this power-up, and I'm sure people, like I said, who don't have a peanut brain are going to come up with some absolutely awesome things too. So that's great. What I'm saying here, really, the undercurrent of my ramblings is that there are so many fun and fresh new power-ups that are going to revitalize the game in conjunction with the World Maker. Now, the World Maker, it's great. However, it does have one hiccup, which is absolutely not surprising if you've been a Super Mario Maker fan, either with the sequel on Switch or the original on Wii U. The one on 3DS, we don't talk about it, even though I played it extensively, because of course I did. Um, the problem is the problem we've always had. The curation is not quite there. You can hop on and you can see a random selection of people's worlds. 
and then you can refresh that you can play those but you can't really see details about them there's not a great way from that menu specifically to find a fun world to play now of course you can go through maker pages and you can get uh, world ideas from you know Twitter YouTube wherever you like to have it maybe reddit probably reddit actually you can get these level codes there and then get into the worlds that way but you should be able to do it right inside the game or inside the you know the Nintendo Switch online app that I pay for that I don't use right of course this curation problem like I said it's not new however it's a little bit disappointing to see that that's not quite fixed here but other than the curation problem when you actually get into someone's world, it's incredible. It really does feel like you've just stepped into a brand new Super Mario game, and it's absolutely great. Mario Maker has always presented endless Mario, but I think it means something different here with the world creator, and it's just going to coalesce in an excellent experience for fans. This is, without a doubt, the pinnacle of 2D Mario. So keep an eye out here at Nintendad. We're going to be absolutely highlighting more levels, whether that's on Twitter, here on YouTube, they'll be around. But the point is, if you want to know when we highlight these levels, if you want to see even more great Nintendo Switch content from our incredible team, you got to stay in the loop, all right? Go to nintendad.co.uk, follow our Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube, join us on Patreon. There's all kinds of ways to engage with us. We're very friendly, we're very smart, very talented. We're a wonderful group of people. You want to be around us. We'll make you better. Maybe that's hyperbolic, but the point is, you want to be part of the Nintendad community, and there's so many ways to do it. In the first place to look, as usual, as per the usual YouTube arrangement, is in the description. So be sure to check there for all kinds of great links, and all kinds of fun doodads for your pleasure. Now, speaking of pleasure, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go play Super Mario Maker 2. 3.0 and make myself some wonderful worlds go on YouTube find some cool worlds to play and just have a great time I hope you always staying safe having fun keeping busy during these wild world times we live in you know Escape all of it escape the doldrums escape the arguing, you know, just get away from it for a minute hop hop into Mario Maker Play some levels have a good time You know, that's all I have to say I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I have been, I continue to be Abram Buner. Like I said, links to everything you'd want in your life are in the description. I'll talk to you very soon. Hope you're having a great day. Goodbye.